Facing off ahead of the Tulsa mayoral election, three candidates debated tonight in front of a crowd at Kane's Ballroom. Glad you're with us. I'm Sarah Whitley. And I'm Nathan Thompson. Shea has the night off. We are less than three weeks out from the August 27th election. Fox 23's Devin Lyon is live outside Kane's Ballroom for us tonight. Devin, tell us how the debate went. Yeah, guys, there was a very large turnout for tonight's debate. Now those candidates who were present discussed a number of topics, such as their proposed policy plans and what their uh, priorities will be as mayor and how they plan on tackling some key issues. Tulsa County Commissioner Karen Keith, State Representative Monroe Nichols, and Brent Van Norman were the first to enter historic Kane's Ballroom when doors opened at 5. Before taking the stage, I was able to catch up with all three, asking their thoughts ahead of the debate. I'm excited about it. You know, big decision on August 27th for everybody across the city. I think tonight people will see a real contrast between the candidates, maybe for the first time even. So I'm very excited about it. I'm just excited to see the turnout here because this tells you that people care about Tulsa. And I, you know, I love to talk Tulsa, so this will, I think this will be a lot of fun. I'm Fantastic. looking forward to actually being able to banner some issues back and Man, forth. It looks like it's going to be a good turnout tonight. I think so. I think so. People seem pretty excited, been getting a lot of texts and a lot of well wishes all day long. All three had exactly one hour on the debate stage, answering three rounds of questions on topics like what qualifies them to be mayor, specifics on policy, and the problems they want to tackle first. You establish priorities and uh, you follow those priorities. And in, in this case, I think, again, the priorities are going to be, one, bus being business friendly, second, addressing public safety, and third, helping and coming alongside our school system. Also in community engagement. As the CEO of a city, you've got to engage with the community, and that means also listening to your city councilors. They are the boots on the ground, and they will help decide what we need to do to get things done. I think you've got to be a defender of your community. When somebody picks on your public schools, when somebody calls teachers terrorists, you defend your community, and you don't make any apologies about it. And so I think CEO, ambassador, and defender is the role of a mayor, and I'm looking forward to being just that guy. Now, throughout the debate, all three candidates did remain very friendly with one another, but we did start to see some separation in their opinions as the night went on. I'm working on that part of my story for you, as well as what some voters said after the debate. I'll have it ready for you on Fox 23 News at 10. Live in downtown Tulsa, covering news that matters. Devin Lyon, Fox 23 News. And Fox 23 has interviewed the May World candidates at tonight's debate, as well as businessman Casey Bradford, who wasn't there tonight. We did that separately. We asked them about all of their visions for Tulsa, plus topics like the Tulsa race massacre, illegal immigration, and more. You can find and watch each of those interviews in full. Just go to fox23.com and click the You Decide 2024 tab. Now, absentee ballots are now available for the August 27th elections. You can request absentee ballots online or in person through the state or your local county election boards. Tulsa voters will pick the next mayor, and many of you will have city council races and city charter amendments to vote on. There are also state legislature primary runoffs. But if you don't have any of those in your area, check to see if there's a school bond in your community to vote on.